Hey everyone, Dr. Madrid here. Today we are going to discuss a common diabetic medication that most with type 2 diabetes are familiar. If you or a family member have type 2 diabetes, chances are this medication is being taken or at least has been taken at some point in the past. This medication is metformin, also known by the brand names Glucophage, Glometza, Fortimet, Riomet, and Glucophage XR. The brand names may vary depending on where in the world you live. If you or a family member are on this drug, you will want to make sure that you are aware of the common nutritional and vitamin deficiencies that metformin can cause. It is important that you do not stop taking this medication without first consulting with your physician. Metformin is the most common diabetic drug used to control blood sugar in those with type 2 diabetes. Although metformin does an excellent job lowering blood sugar by making your insulin more efficient, it may cause various nutrient deficiencies, including a vitamin B12 deficiency. Ironically, vitamin B12 deficiencies also associated with numbness and tingling in the lower legs, feet, and toes. This is something doctors call peripheral neuropathy or diabetic neuropathy in those with diabetes. So low vitamin B12 levels can also affect memory. So optimizing blood levels is extremely important. However, it's important to realize that diabetes and elevated blood sugar readings can also cause neuropathy symptoms. So don't assume your neuropathy is 100% due to a vitamin B12 deficiency. It's possible that both your diabetes and the B12 deficiency are contributing to your neuropathic symptoms. Likewise, diabetes can also affect memory and it appears to be a risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. Many doctors are now calling Alzheimer's disease type three diabetes. If you're on metformin, ask your physician to measure your vitamin B12 level at least once per year. Most labs will report vitamin B12 levels between 200 picograms per milliliter and 1100 being in the normal range. Many integrative medicine doctors, such as myself, and even many uh, progressive neurologists recommend B12 levels of 500 or more to optimize nerve and brain health. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also be tested by measuring one's homocysteine level or one's blood methylmalonic acid level. Both will be elevated when vitamin B12 level is low, although sometimes the vitamin B12 test itself may be in the normal range. Other nutrients depleted by metformin include uh, vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxine, and coenzyme Q10. Both of these are important for the brain, heart, and nerve health. Vitamin B6 and CoQ10 can also be measured during a blood test. However, depending on one's insurance, the cost may or may not be covered. So you need to check with the lab uh, or simply consider uh, taking the supplements without doing a lab test prior. The recommended dosing for these supplements are as follows. Vitamin B12, I usually recommend between 500 and 1,000 micrograms per day. Vitamin B6 can be taken at a dose of 25 to 100 milligrams daily and coenzyme Q10 at 50 milligrams uh, minimum per day. These nutrients may also be present in a quality multivitamin, but chances are not at the doses advised, so a separate supplement should probably be taken. Again, if you do have diabetes, do not stop taking your medication. Uh, this information is for, uh, and this video is for educational purposes only. Always consult with your own personal physician before stopping or making any changes to your medication regimen. I hope you find this information helpful. If so, don't forget to share it with family and friends and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at Eric Madrid MD. Thank you and have a blessed day.